have some survival tips for your hair too because you know messy hair is in it's been rainy the last couple of days here rain's coming back so messy hair with a purpose. Amy Ross, she owns the dry bars here in Arizona. Hi, That's how so are you? Cool. How many dry bars do we have around the area? We have five in the valley. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? We started about nine years ago at Scottsdale Quarter, and we now have 32nd and Camelback. We're in the spot, the Phoenician on Lincoln yeah. and Scottsdale Road, and down in Gilbert at Santan Valley. So Mall. folks who don't know, what is dry bar? You know what? Dry bar is an old concept, I think, what I like to think about it. Reinvented, right? Mm -hmm. Our grandmothers used to get the hair set once a week, uh -huh. right? So now women come in and they get a blowout. Yeah. So we're going to wash your hair. We're going to give you a great blowout, and then we're going to style it for you. Yeah, I have a, cut, I have a couple girlfriends. They can go three days, three, oh, four yeah. days. Depending on your one. hair type, yeah. I, I won't tell you how many days I go. Sometimes, like, almost a week. Ah, see, ah, she told us. I told you. Okay, so show me what we're doing. What Absolutely. are the trends we're doing with the yes. messy hair? They're, they look pretty styled. I don't know how messy they look. I know, right? Well, you know, texture and, like, messiness yeah. is very in for spring. And one of the biggest trends that we're seeing is the silk headpieces, the headbands. Okay. So what we did to Eileen, I'm going to borrow her texture Come spray. On, Eileen. Is yes. we, I know, we gave her a great dirty martini, uh, what we call our dirty martini yeah. blowout. And then we added this lovely silky headband. And then we're going to take some triple sec. And What's the triple sec? Is that it's a dry texturizing. Shampoo? A texturizer. Yes. Okay. So, and it's just going to give her some more pieciness and texture mm. into that hair. See how that does that? Okay, texturizing spray, yes. hot tip. And hot then tip. the big headband. The big headband. I had a couple of them I put away for a yeah, couple of years. No, they're, back. they're back. They're okay. back. Also like a silky scarf you could do. What do we got with this one? With Nikki, what we Nikki. did was we gave her a great, just normal blowout. Yeah. And then what we did, we wrapped her hair around this ponytail yeah. and we made it high and bouncy. And then we just put some really pretty curls in it. And with a pony, one mm -hmm. of the things we want to make sure we always focus on is that we take some good flexible whole yes. hairspray and we just kind of smooth it out. Okay, so tell me when yes. we're, we're leaving that one piece yes. out, how do we do that when we're making that tight pony? Yep, so you're gonna leave one piece out mm -hmm. and then once you have the rubber band in there, you're gonna wrap it around and then you're gonna take like a bobby pin and you're just gonna okay. put it right in there. Okay. Yeah, All right. and then we're just gonna spray her so she doesn't get any of those flyaways, so, so she cute. looks nice and sleek. I love doing a little braid. Right, Because then it's situated and I can kind of have at least a piece of my hair that's in place. Exactly. This is a different braided look. This is a different look. You know, braids are always, every spring, I feel like they come back, yeah. but with a little bit of a different twist. So what we have here on Cassidy is we gave her just a great straight up blowout with a little bit of a twist, and then we braided these little tendrils here. So they're tendrils, and then what we did was we're taking a little bit of the shine spray right Ooh. on the braids just to give them a little bit more pizzazz. Okay, we like yeah. pizzazz. We like pizzazz. Pizzazz will never go out of style. <laughs> no, it will not. <laughs> it will not. Okay, no. the girls look great. We're ready for Coachella, which, you know, is canceled. Right. Well, but we're, we're, we're styled by Coachella. I feel like it's been so influential in how we do our hair absolutely. and what we're wearing these days. For spring, the braids, the ponies, mm -hmm. I think all those looks for the festivals, they're easy and they're effortless looking, yeah. but yet we still look cute, right? As yeah. girls, we always want to look good, and we're not worried, like, did my curls? fall. She's yeah. not worried about it. She, it's you know, nice she's to not have your hair in place. Absolutely. And I gotta tell you, you know, dry bar is just a great way to just pamper yourself. Absolutely. And have, I like learning. What are you doing? Why are you using that? Exactly. And just picking up some tips. So I educate my, I probably harass my girls when no. they're going and working on no. me. No, you know what? They love yeah. that because, mm -hmm. you know, think about it. If, you know, if I always tell them, if somebody goes home and they see an ad for something and you didn't tell them about it, like yeah. we want to tell our clients what we're doing yeah. and why we're doing it. Yeah. So we like to educate and make sure that they can also help to recreate this look at home. And nice to know those dry bars are locally owned. Congrats they on are, that. They are, yes, you. locally owned, yeah. How are those puppies doing, Nick? They're adorable. You've got two, two adorable little Yorkies. I kind of mad you didn't bring them with you today. Uh, thank you, ladies. You all look wonderful.